Hi, I'm Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at the ability of the lumbar spine to flex. It's segmentally flex, and then we're going to do a muscle energy technique to try to correct it if it doesn't flex well. So it's more of a muscle issue. So Mike is going to put, you're going to put, we're going to test this side. So take your right hand, put it over here. So we did in our exam, we had him bend forward, and we found the segment. It doesn't seem like it's flexing. It just seems like it's flattened. It's not able to open up. So we can come into here, and I can put Mike in that position. I could flex him side bend rotate them then i can come into each segment so if i find here's l4 5 if i find that segment i have a couple of choices i can go on the spinous process on the other side and go to end range and see if he if he, if he rotates right so see if he rotates going to the left i can go on to the same on the transverse process and just go across again i have inflection side bend rotate and i see if he rotates more or the third option is i could do the same thing and i could just do more of a called an up glide, so I could push towards his eye, flexing the joint. So what we're doing is we're feeling the motion. So he went into flexion, rotation, and then we're gonna to try to see, can he rotate to the left in flexion? So I could push over that way. I could push just generally rotating it, or I could try to do it up glide it, which is towards his eye. So let's say with Mike, let's see if we can actually find one. Okay, so not bad, but we'll pick this segment. So Mike had trouble, let's say he did he had trouble with flexion, side bent left, rotate left. And he, let's say he couldn't move going forward. So my options are, I have my finger on the transverse process on, the, on this side as I feel the motion come to my finger. So I have him flex that, feel it hits my finger. I am pushing down the shoulder, I side bend till I feel motion, and I rotate till I feel motion. So I'm right at that segment. And I say, Mike, gently try to turn yourself back to the middle. That's it, that lightly. It's really light. Rotation seems to work the best. You can do side bending, flexion or extension, and relax. The key is we both relax. Then we go more. Can you go a little more into flexion until it hits my finger? Side bend and rotation. So what you do after that, the key is what do they do at home? So all I do is take the patient and I say, put your hand next to you. What I want you to do is you feel my finger are slouched to my finger. Bend your elbow on this side to get the side bending. Keep your hand on the table and then rotate a little bit till you feel it. So one day you feel it, then, then straighten your elbow, and then bend your elbow. So back down, so now you're getting a mobilization. You teach him what it feels like. You can put your finger on that spot. Mike can feel that motion. If he's not sure, he can take his own finger just to feel it, and you're gonna feel it as you bend, you wanna feel it pushes your finger out of there, come back up. So as a homework, I'm typically gonna do about 30 repetitions. We're gonna do it two or three times a day, just to get him to practice getting that joint to open up. Okay, so Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.